The destructive force of pneumococcal meningitis, a disease that strikes fear into the heart of every parent. For Jody and Tony Cross, it was to turn their lives upside down. Our youngest daughter, Millie, um, she was seven and a half months old when she contracted meningitis. They said she only had a 15% chance of surviving. I don't know how to explain how I felt. Numb, just shocked. After nine days in intensive care, Millie defied the odds and pulled through. I can remember us actually being a little bit cocky, over, wow, look at our miracle baby. You know, she survived meningitis, you know, aren't we so lucky? But in a cruel turn of events, on the same day that Millie returned home, elder sister Lydia had to be rushed to hospital. A surreal situation where I was stood talking to a doctor and you know, asking how she was, and he was saying she was fine. In the background, I just looked over his shoulder and there was a, a crash cart being taken to her, and she had just suffered a, a double heart attack. Um, Like her younger sister, Lydia had contracted meningitis and was suffering multi-organ failure and blood poisoning. She was purple, her arms, her legs, her cheeks, the tip of her nose and her lips, and that's why they thought that she might have to lose all of those, have all those parts of her that were purple amputated. Two weeks on life support and dialysis revived Lydia's kidneys, arms and face, but she had to have both legs amputated below the knee. Couldn't believe it. I just couldn't believe it at all. Despite her ordeal, Lydia displayed remarkable spirit. To going into the intensive care unit, to her being sat up and sort of laughing and joking with the, uh, with the nurses. And she said, uh, where's Millie? I want a cuggle and I want to go to the cafe. <laughs> Lydia still faces gruelling operations on her legs until she stops growing and is adjusting to life with the use of prosthetic legs. When I got my legs on, it felt really strange because I was all really, I was all tall. As well as demonstrating remarkable courage, Lydia has been praised by the Meningitis Research Foundation for her countless interviews and tireless campaigning to raise awareness of the disease and how to spot it. She's so very, very proud of that. She doesn't let anything beat her. She really doesn't. I want to save people from meningitis. The job that Dad is doing over there? He's a security guard, I think, isn't yes. he? Yes, well, I happen to know that your dad can actually watch the telly over in Baghdad. Did you know that? Yes. Yes. <laughs> well, just look at this camera here, down here, OK? And if you... Oh, we're not... You don't have to bend down to it, but if you just... <laughs> you just like that and just wave. Just wave and say, Hello, Daddy. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Lydia. Hello, darling. You look beautiful. Thank you. Oh, it's a beautiful face. And here's Minnie. Here's Minnie, what's up? Oh, no. It's Daddy. Oh. Congratulations to all of the family.